I'm just off the side of the pavement in case I got stuck. I'm just checking my tire pressure before I get off into the real sand. I mean, this is as thick as it gets. I'm trying to get it stuck. It's not happening. <laughs> That was four wheel high. All right, let's go over here to the lake. Let's go across the street now. That looks pretty soft. out from under me it's so strong all right we're gonna go down to thick stuff now oh yeah the road runner can take it let's go back up Came on through. All right, time to experiment with four wheel low. All right, here's four wheel low. Soft stuff at. I think it's right there. Right back over here. That stuff. Machine, what a machine. Let's go down here. It's a beautiful thing. I don't need no side by side. Let's go through here.
keep it moving. Well, you get the point. You get the picture. Let's go down here to the water. I literally stopped in this sand and I'm taking off now slowly. Some little playground over there. I got all kinds of little playground right here to play around. You can get in the water layer. Let's go down to that picnic bench. Let me go real slow, see what happens. I'm gonna put it on that uh, uh, all track. You see it? What happens there is if you go and one tire spins and you keep them spinning, you don't go fast with your throttle, you just keep the tire, you don't let off the gas, you keep it spinning and it throws the power to any tire that's not spinning and switches it to that gear. We're in all track, kind of a crawl mode. We don't have to keep up speed or anything, see? We can just do whatever we want to do. It's all about tire pressure, guys. That's the key. Crawl mode. We be crawling. I'm really kind of just building my nerve and staying close to the road here in case I had to get yanked out just to see. I mean, the sand can't get a whole lot softer than this, can it? And I'm just crawling now and it won't get stuck. It just keeps moving. It just keeps moving. Wow. What a machine. What's this? What is that? Some guys fishing out there. I guess I'll go down to the edge of the water and get a photo. Be back in a minute. Oh, what a beautiful day. Nice to be able to ride around in four wheel drive and not get dirty and dusty and sit in air conditioning when it's 95 degrees. Tire pressure is doing really good at 25 and I'm in no danger of uh, breaking a bead or anything like that. I got my traction shoes on too. <laughs> it's real hard right here, about 30 yards in from the water. All the soft stuff's out there. I don't have a rake on that forerunner anymore, do I? Because I got all that weight in the back and on the top, it doesn't look raked how they come from the factory. There's something flying around out here, like some little gnats or whatever they're on me. Let's check the temperature of this water. I wouldn't call that freezing. I'd call it chilly. It's warming up, you know, Memorial Weekend's coming up. They'll be out here swimming. They're totally jet skiing and stuff out here, so. But as far as just wading around in the water and swimming, I don't know how many want to charge that. Maybe these northerners that think it's a heat wave.
Yeah, these little gnats are out here. Something. There's a good pair of shoes and a pair of shorts. Some young lady left. Here's a little sand bucket. Yeah, there's like little sand flea flies or whatever. When you walk, they, they get up. I gotta get I gotta get out of here. So let me take a couple of pictures of my jump. All right, I'm gonna pause the video here and take some quality pictures. I can take pictures while videoing, but in case the camera, I think it makes it uh, live too. So in case I have to do any editing. So uh, we'll get some more four-wheeling for you guys.